Oh, frig sakes, that moment when you forgot some important files on your laptop and then you left your laptop at the office and you're like, fuck, do I want to go in today just to go get a couple files off of it? You don't need to when you have the Chrome extension remote desktop. That's right, people, the Chrome extension remote desktop. I'll be doing a tech video on this, but bottom line is, I remoted into my, right through Google Chrome too, like if I hit escape here, you can see I'm logged into Google Chrome and it brought up my laptop at work and I'm able to talk to it. What I really like about this program is if you have an Android tablet or cell phone, you can download the program and remote into your computer from your fucking phone. Yeah. It's a little small, but you know, like obviously it's a cell phone so you can use cool features like pinch to zoom and, and other things. It's one of the reasons why I've been tempted to sell my iPad because I could probably get about 400 bucks for it. And then pick myself up a Samsung Galaxy S4, uh, not S4, what the fuck, Samsung Galaxy Tab 4, the 10 inch one, or even the 8 inch, uh, co-worker bought the, or got the 8 inch one, I'm not, from a golf tournament, and, um, that's actually a pretty good size for a tablet, 10 inches is pretty big, kind of hard to carry around with you and stuff, 8 inches, not too bad, 7 inches I found was kind of small, like if I'm going to get a 7 inch tablet, why bother, I got this 5 inch one, which I can talk on, you know? But um, I, I was debating on that. But anyway, I just needed to transfer those over because stupid dummy me made a big, big mistake. Um, I uploaded a bunch of videos and uh, forgot the thumbnails on my work computer. So I have three videos that are just generic frames stolen from the video as a thumbnail. I need to correct that before we get on with the day. So let me just get that done, then we'll hammer down. For sake, something else I need to do later this day is clear off my desk and wipe the fucker down with alcohol. I got friggin' e-juice everywhere. Son of a bitch, a bottle must have fallen over and just fucking doused my desk. Kinda sucks, but whatevs. We'll get that done later. Ooh, a text message. So remember how I was saying in my previous video that I'm probably gonna be off till Tuesday, then I work Tuesday to Saturday, then I have Sunday off, then I gotta, I'm gotta. i probably gonna end up working the Monday because there's nobody to work it. So last night I'm just sitting there and I'm chatting with Bruce from head office on Facebook. Oh no, we're texting. Never mind, we're texting. And I told him, I said, uh, good luck on Monday, bud. It's just you, uh, it's just the two of you on Monday. And he goes, he replies back and he goes, I'm not in on Monday. And I'm like, uh, according to the schedule you are. And he goes, no, I booked it off. And I'm like, wait a second, how the fuck is that possible? He booked it off and one of the day shift uh, fucking people booked it off and one of the night shift people booked it off and I have it off, which means on Monday we have one guy running the help desk because once again, the manager fucked up. And because I'm such a good employee, I brought it to his attention, which was I should never have fucking done. I should have let it go, let him get in shit for fucking up large. Because I'm telling you, that would have been hilarious at four for just one guy to go in there and nobody to do anything about it because he fucked up. But no, 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 no. I had to bring it to his attention because I'm a fucking good employee like that. And it's like... He, you wouldn't realize how many times in the past that I've covered his ass because he's too fucking incompetent to be a goddamn manager. And the amount of times that I've come across problems like this and I fucking notified him and then he took the fucking praise the claim and got the benefit. Like, why do I fucking bother? Why do I help people out? I don't understand it. Like, why do I feel obliged to try and help people not get in shit when, when whenever there's a problem, they're the first cunts to throw me under a fucking bus, you know? I don't understand it. I, I really don't. Like, yeah, I'm a nice guy. I try to help people out. And when it comes time to be helped out, 90% of the time, the people at work who were, who I helped out won't help me out and will just fucking drill me in front of a bus to be, to be smashed out. So it's like, yeah, I got to quit fucking helping people. I got to quit being friendly. Uh, I ended up bringing my Keurig home because... I was sick and tired of hearing that it's broken again, it's broken again, because one of the arseholes at work insists on using one of those dollar store fucking cup filters, like the ones I have, and if you use them right, they work great. But no, he insists on jamming as much fucking coffee in that son of a bitch as possible, and then drilling it into the Keurig, so what happens is the needle goes in through the top, and then it gets pressed, like fucking compressed into coffee beans. Well, the coffee beans get up the little pipe, because it's just like a little needle, like a 20 gauge needle. Um, the coffee grains get up there, and then instead of flowing like water out smoothly, it sprays out the sides, and then it ends up making a big mess, and you know, you don't get a full cup of coffee out of it because you just plug the thing. So now you got to drain all the water out of it, fill it with vinegar, and run it uh, with a cup of vinegar, and, and do a cycle every once in a while to descale it, take all the garbage out of it. 
Uh, Bruce, I think he said last time he had to get a, um, a needle, a sewing needle, and get up there and fucking work all the grinds out of it. And it's like, I am sick and tired of one fucking arsehole at work wrecking everybody's shit, and we bring it to the manager's attention, and nobody does anything about it. Like, he's already wrecked two fucking fans, a heater, uh, my coffee maker three times, um, the microwave, the fridge, uh, I think... Think, oh yeah, I'm Bruce's workstation, and it's like, are you fucking for real right now? How are you still employed? Why, why, oh, I know why you're still employed, because the managers don't fucking do anything except for harass me. Even though I try to help them out to keep the ship sailing smooth, they still insist on attacking me. Can't fucking wait. Before we get out to the garage and start cranking on a mini bike, just wanted to talk about something here. Um, I decided to add a little section to my descriptions on my vlogs, and it's called My Friends Channels. You kind of got to scroll down a little bit, but there it is. Uh, so you got Rex in there, and Adrian, and Cat Piss, and Pug, and Bloke, and Dylan Taylor for the win. A lot of you have been asking where the fuck he is. Well, there he is right there. There he is right there. He has one of those dicked over channels with two names. It's like Dylan's Adventures. So because it has two names, it creates a URL that looks like right fucked. But you can go in and change that. That's what I did with Vlogging Life. I had to, or no, WTF BBQ Films. I had to go in and create my own URL for it. I don't know why they changed that. Whatever. Fuck it. But, um, so there's all my friends' channels. It's just below the links for, uh, uh where's my mouse? Oh my goodness. It's just below the links for like the Facebook and the tech and all that shit. So it's right there. And you can go there and you can friggin' uh, check out Adrian's channel or Rex's channel or Pug's channel or Blokes or Dylan's or friggin' Capus. I'm gonna add more to it as I go. But right now, that's all I could think of. So don't forget to check those people out. You might like their videos too. Just saying. So we better get out to the garage. Chances are I got dog shit downstairs to clean up because I left Oreo down there with a full bowl of food and a fucking angry temperament because I wouldn't let him sleep in the bed with me last night because every time there was a slight noise he'd fucking growl and wake me up. So I kicked him out of the bed and fucking fired him in the uh, into the hallway and out of the room and oh my goodness my friggin' e-dart just burped all over myself. Ew it's so slimy. And that there is just one of the many reasons why people who like darting end up quitting and going back to cigarettes because they just don't have the patience to deal with all the fucking nonsense you have to deal with with darting and they'd rather just pollute their lungs but it's their lungs and uh, they can fucking give her and why the hell were you sleeping in your crate what a silly poppy but uh, we're gonna let him out so he can go for a shat because he probably has to take a shat and uh, let's get out there and see what this fucking weather's like it looks pretty shitty out it's pissing it was pissing when I woke up I don't know if it's pissing now they Said it's gonna be off and on all day. My goodness, she's a windy fuck of a day out today. But no matter, we'll work in the garage. Fucking tire held up like a boss. I don't know how that fucking valve stem got loose on it, but whatever. Uh, I gotta pull the engine off of that one, the black one, and then weld the frame properly. So, and I'll just use the red bike here, cause it's here. So I'm like, oh fuck, I'm gonna have to take off the jack shaft assembly and everything. And then I got thinking, I'm like, why? Why don't I just find the master link on the back chain take that off and then just unbolt the four bolts in the bottom of the engine take off this stupid fucking cover for the exhaust because that's going to be in the way then just yank the engine right off of here so that's what I'm probably going to do and then I got to get the bike frame in the air somehow so I can weld it that's where one of these might come in handy or I might just clean off my bench and sit the whole frame up on the bench and get her done because uh, I kind of sort of need to get her done because I want to fix up that one too and then we there to have two awesome bikes. So, not really motivated to do it. I'm gonna force myself to do it. Cause I fucking need to do it. Huh, would you look at that? The sun's actually out. But uh, not for long. Not for long. Look, it's already fading. Anyway, just been playing musical bikes. Fired that guy over there. He's fine, he's happy, other things. Uh, this one here, I was thinking about taking this outside and uh, testing out my fancy pants uh, fucking pressure washer dad gave me just to see if it actually works. <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crack the bay door. We're gonna set up that pressure washer and fucking give her a run. So that the bay door wants to open. Come on, you son of a whore. Well, I have no idea how to hook up to this thing because I've never used one of these before, but I'm gonna assume that's where the water comes out and that's where the water comes in. The reason why I'm gonna assume that is because that one has a screen filter on it to prevent any sort of nonsense. And this one here has frigol and it's all rotten to shit, so it's probably the outlet. 
and judging by the inside of this being all white, I'm going to say that's from this. So I'll just go ahead and plug that into there. And if I got this wrong, well, I never had a pressure washer before. If this thing blows up, I guess I still don't have a pressure washer. Oh well, that's why I like manuals. Well, scratch that plan. This thing's pretty much, uh... Wait, wait. Oh my goodness, wait. What did I find here? Okay, we might be okay, because, uh... I had zero way to hook this fucking thing up to that. Because my hose is, uh, one of those types. Or it's like all fucking on the end. And this is also all threaded on the end. But then I found this sitting in the side, so... Let me see what I can make do with this. Alrighty, well I think I got this figured out. I got it plugged into the hose. I don't know if I should give it power. I, I can't find an off on switch on this thing. Uh, I think the moment I plug it in, the compressor turns on. Probably. I don't know. Fuck. Alright, let's uh, turn some water to it and we'll see if it explodes. Well, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Yeah, she's just dripping out. All right, let's plug it in and see if she explodes. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not safe. Okay, nothing. All right, let's grab the gun, see if she works. Oh, that's effective. Um, okay, I must be missing something. This is why I love manuals, because it tells you how to work the fucking thing. What's this do? What? That's it. That's it. Oh, that's, uh, that's effective. That's effective. That's very effective. Okay. Let's uh, turn it all the way on and see what happens. Yeah, that's a that's a powerful fucking pressure washer right there. Jesus. Yeah, okay, I'm doing something wrong, people. Right back. Oh, friggin' right. It's called Dad to see what the frig I was doing wrong, and apparently you got to turn this thing on the end. But uh, she works. She works awesome. Yeah. Peeling all the mud off so that I can just go out in about a week and fucking wreck it again. Yeah, buddy. But uh, I'm gonna blast off the rest of the bike and then uh, we'll let her dry up. I gotta go over to Dad's house, not for a computer repair. He's got a bunch of shit for me. So we're gonna go scoop that up and go from there. So let's finish cleaning this bike, let her dry up, and then uh, we'll be all right. Oh yeah. Just peeling the mud off of her. Fucking gorgeous. Sometimes you just need to take a piss. Oh, God, that feels great. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I gave her a good blast with the pressure washer. It worked pretty good. Got it all disconnected and ready to be put away there. So, cleaned up the rims nice. I missed some spots. I got nervous around the carb because I don't want to get that wet because apparently it'll fuck things up. So, I don't want to fuck things up anymore. Uh, Spray the fenders down, but it didn't really peel off all the dirt. But it's enough to see what the frig's really going on down here. So, uh, let's go figure this shit out. Actually, let's let this dry a bit, probably. But it uh, looks like I don't have to go over to Dad's. Uh, what's going to happen is he's they're, they're going to the mall in a couple hours. For what reason, I don't know. And the mall closes at 6. Oh, no, it's Saturday. It closes at 9, so that's fine. But they're going to go to the mall and hang out there so he figured well what he would do is he would come over on his way and uh, drop off the shit instead of having me leave and go over there he just figured figured he'll just come over here and drop off the shite now I need to figure out what I'm going to do about that bottom could just get back in there with the welder and go a little bit slower this time and apply more heat and I'm thinking I might do that really grind the fuck out of it and uh, really just give her shit because I don't feel like pulling the engine again by again I mean ever but uh, let's just take a good look in here so this side is Definitely okay. Yeah, and that's the side that I welded last time. But um, think I'm gonna grind all that down and fucking tag her again, boys. Frag it. Alrighty. So I've gone ahead and cleaned up the welding spot again, and I see where I fucked up. And hopefully this time around I can get it right. So let's go ahead and zip tie that. So because I'm on my last camera, I didn't film the welding. But uh, there you go. I just fucking really ripped her one, and put a great big glob of shit onto it. And uh, I put my um, brush underneath before I could take the brush and fucking wiggle it and push that up. Now she doesn't move. Fixed again. See how long it lasts until I break it again. But it uh, looks pretty nice out. I'm probably going to take that bike outside, run it around the yard a couple times, 
just to superheat the chain and then fucking hose her down because uh, she's kind of grimy. Yay, mini bike! There, I even tuned the carb so now it runs good. I thought she runs like a champ. She's quick too. Friggin' awesome. Works great. This one here I need to drop the oil out of. Ah, I guess I'll do that today. Fuck it. I don't even know what time it is right now. But uh, yeah, let's drop the oil out of that one there. And then uh, we'll put some new oil into it. We'll just uh, push the black bike out of the way here. And we'll get our custom jack stand. Actually, no, I take it back. That was a stupid mistake on my part last time using that custom jack stand. What you need to do is not use it, and you put the oil pan right underneath the um, the whole friggin' bike and just let it fart out. But I have to take the red bike for a quick rip that we heat it up. But first, I need to drop a piss. Oh, son of a bitch. It's fucking sunny out again, I tell you. I almost want to grab this bike and take her up the hill. <laughs> But I can't because it could rain at any point and the trails are probably muddier than fuck probably end up dying up there But uh, let's take this out in the back for a romp. I don't film that like you guys want to watch me spin around in circles Like a fucking bear on a bike. Alrighty, so just like on the last oil change you just bust out that nut and you're good to go So I think it's a 10 mil. Yup. Yup. Totally is a 10 mil I'm just gonna grab a wire brush and clean that shit out first and then we'll uh, take the oil out of it There we go dropping that black gold. I know it's probably not time to change it. Hold your hostilities daddy tech But uh, I'm just uh, doing this for preventative maintenance Make sure that that oil I have no idea how long that fucking piss has been in there and pretty clean pretty got pretty good viscosity But I want fresh oil into it just for peace of mind, you know Sometimes. There. Now you guys got something new to bitch about. The fact that I'm using cardboard to put oil into my fucking bike because I don't have a funnel that'll fit in there. Because this one here is dicks. It's too fucking big. And the other ones I can't find because they're missing in action. But when I'm done the oil change, I'll find them probably. Because that's how it always works out. But anyway, let's add some oil to this pig and fire it up. Alright, let's check the oil. I got the oil cap here. We'll go ahead and stab her back in and see what she's pulling. Just drop that paper towel there. The wind will catch that and throw it in the oil pan anyway. But uh, survey says we are good. All right, let's seal her back up. Way more oil than was in it last time. Last time it was barely licking the bottom of the uh, of that stick. So now at least it's a lot up. And uh, I'm just gonna ride it, take it for a quick rip with the new oil, and uh, see how she feels. Then probably bring it back in here and park it. Now I'm thinking barbecuing a fucking steak because I'm starved. Should have showed you guys that while I was draining the oil into the oil catcher. Into my jug that I got, uh, well, you can see it in the funnel there with the jug onto it. But uh, that's what I, I fill that up and then I bring it to the hazardous waste depot and dispose of it. And um, when I was pouring the oil out of the pan, it was really, um, it was weird. It was black, but it had stripes of, uh, like, look like milk. So I think maybe the oil got wet from probably when we submerged the poor son of a bitch. But uh, other than that, uh, the new oil's in it. So let's take her for a rip. I'm going to see how she does. I'm not going to film that because, like I said, who the fuck wants to watch me drive around like an idiot on a bike in the backyard. So let's just go for a rip. She runs a fuck a lot better, that's for sure. That runs way the hell better than before. Um, before there was this, this, I don't know, this weird sound coming out of the engine. So chances are that oil wasn't doing its job. <laughs> oh boy. Luckily we didn't ride it after uh, the last outing with Rex. That was the last time this bike seen the trails. So uh, bonus on that one. But Adrian pointed out last time that uh, that's broken. And you're probably saying, well, what the fuck is that for? Well, originally that goes flat like that one there. So that when you turn the wheel, you see, it catches on the bit and it stops. So this strut can never come in contact with the tank. Unlike what happened over here because of that bentness. Check this out. You can just keep fucking turning, keep turning, a oh, boom, right into the tank. So I guess when Buddy Van Dudo piled this thing, the previous owner there when he fucking dumped her, the uh, wheel must have went that way, like must have turned this way, and overextended and just ripped this poor thing clear off. So he must have hit this thing pretty fucking hard. Because that's some pretty thick metal. It's white steel or white metal, whatever you call it. But to bend it like that, my goodness. So I could fix it or I could just be very careful while riding or I could just not give a shit. I think I'm going to go with not giving a shit and just warn people that it doesn't have a stop on the right. So you can really steer the shit out of that one. 
And would you look at that? Still got enough oil to do another mini bike. Friggin' right, I do. Jesus fuck, I keep tripping over this stupid thing. So I just got motivated to start cleaning out my barbecue. And it was a lot worse than what it was here. And as you can tell now, it stays on there good. Um, this screw right here, the nut was halfway out. And this screw over here, the nut is gone. And I have no idea where the fuck it ran off to. It's probably in some squirrel's nest being used. Who knows, who knows. So I have no nut holding this one in. This one's tight, tight, tight. For a $39 barbecue, you know what? This thing is actually holding up really, really well. Oh, also in the, uh, the news, uh, the burner is actually in pretty good shape still too, somewhat. Like she, she's grimy. Oh fuck, she's still all there. She's still all there, so. Should be able to get another season out of this barbecue, probably. I'm just cleaning out all the, the creosote, or whatever the fuck that carbon is. As you can tell, there was a lot in there, just a little bit. So, clean that all up, clean this all up, and put it all back together, and I'm gonna make a fucking steak, I'm starved. I already got the barbecue fired, look at the fucking roar now that it's actually cleaned out, eh? Oh my goodness, cleaned off the burner and everything. Uh, Dad was just here, he dropped me off, um... This drill from Zellers looks like a DeWalt, but uh, I have a feeling it's not. I have this feeling that it's just not a DeWalt. I have a feeling it's like a DeWalt clone. It's probably a job mate, but uh, the battery actually still has power into it. And uh, apparently it even came with a free dandy long legs. Go for a ride, buddy! <laughs> He also brought me some drill bits, but I don't know where the fuck he put them. Well, that's weird. He brought me those metal cutting drill bits and I already lost them. Oh, there they are. For sakes. So he brought me uh, these all trades drill bits, so. Pretty sweet, but I'm just waiting for this. Oh my goodness, it's already preheated. Okay, we're gonna go in the house, grab the steak, and then come back out and barbecue the shit out of the stuff. All right, people, I'm pretty much done out here for now. Um, got this all cooked up and ready to rock. Bikes are all fixed and ready to rock. Dad came over and on Monday We're going to fix this problem right here where the joist is cracking So that'll be awesome um, What else what else what else since if I have Monday off we're gonna do that Otherwise he said he'll just sneak over here and do it just told me to get all this shit out of the way So I'll just move the bikes over to one side and get the mower the fuck out of here Put it in the backyard if I have to for one night whatever just clear up some space and go from there. So that's the battle plan. But I'm gonna go inside and eat this friggin' steak because look at how glorious that looks. That looks delicious. And after supper, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, people. And if I end up doing something after supper, fuck, it'll be a different vlog. So kind of like that idea and uh, I'm gonna roll with it. So thanks for watching my video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.